Okay, so let's analyze yesterday's game, which was really in interesting. Um, I had an 82.9 accuracy. My rating was estimated at 2100. So yeah, quite an all right game. I felt like I definitely misplayed the opening. Um, but after that, my opponent just, uh, yeah, just played worse. Um, but I think I can definitely learn something from this. So yeah, I knew all this. This was theory. And then here, yeah, this is quite an odd move. And I... Yeah, so taking on b2 apparently is fine. But I've had games like this and I always struggle against this. So let's see what does the engine say. Bishop f5. Okay. Yeah, I guess just go here and then. Apparently he can't go for this or something. Just says king d8. He takes here. And I have th things like this. Yeah, that's, that's stuff to find. I mean, I'm down a full rook here. I guess I'm going to win some material back. Although I don't really see how queen... Ah, taking here. Yeah, this is quite a long line. And it, it's still equal, the engine says. So I don't know if I would have found that. Uh... Yeah, the engine also likes c4 as a move. Which I probably should have, should have considered. Now the knight is not doing anything. It can't e can go here anymore. That's probably what I should have done. So I took here, which is a miss. Yeah, and here I was uh, spending quite some time. And e5 does end up to be the best move. I felt like, yeah, I might lose a pawn here. So if he takes with the bishop... I can probably just take, yeah, so this would be uh, completely fine for me. Now this is not a threat, threat anymore, uh, and material is, uh, is still equal. Um, but he took with the knight, which is probably best. And yeah, the engine actually prefers just to go for some more trades. And yeah, I, I didn't really like things like this. I can't take the knight because my queen is under attack. I can't take that knight because it's defended. Uh, and I was just trying to get to safety uh, as quickly as possible. So I thought I could kick this knight out here. But apparently, I thought this wasn't a problem. But let's see. I was thinking of this. Yeah, now it's, it just says this. And even though I haven't lost any material yet, one pawn, but this is just bad. It's doubled pawns. Yeah, yeah I should have seen this. But I was just too focused on not losing material, so that pawn <laughs> didn't really matter to me. Um, and my opponent, yeah, just blundered here. And I think I didn't play this well. Yeah, I should have taken with the king. So... This doesn't come with check, and I can just save my rook. Yeah, but instead I took with the knight. Um, because I wanted to get my king to safety. And yeah, here I, I will lose an exchange if he goes for this, uh, this check. I have to go for this. Then here. And yeah, now apparently I can take here. But it's all kind of messy. Uh, but instead my opponent played this, and I, I think he thought I, he was trapping my queen. The queen can't go there, can't go there, can't take the bishop. But yeah, I have this square. And yeah, here I'm just up a piece. And then after this, he probably thought, okay, I don't want to... Uh, I at least want to get a pawn for that piece. And it's attacking the queen, so um, I can't take his knight. But he forgot that this comes with check. So he doesn't have time to save his knight now. Because it's also attacked by the pawn. So after this I want even more material. And yeah my conversion wasn't the best I think. But yeah again it's quite an high rated opponent. Uh, even though I'm getting close to that rating as well. But yeah it's uh, it was tricky. So uh, I think there's still something to learn uh, from this point onward. But this is the best move. Uh, I was looking at things like this, maybe my queen getting pinned, 
so I just wanted to get my knight out so that I always have this move. I did play it immediately just to be safe. And I still kind of like that decision. Best engine move. Yeah, the evaluation is uh, not too much of a difference. Yeah, the engine even wants me to pin my own queen, which I guess is all right. I mean, knight is defended by the pawn as well, which funnily enough, I missed in the game initially. So I thought I had to defend with my queen. Um, otherwise, I might have gone for uh, g6 to develop my bishop, although this is yeah, as quick as the, the other way. And I just want to get my king to safety, so I did as quickly as I could, which is still all right. Yeah, I wasn't worried about this. And my opponent decided to go for some trades here, and I didn't really understand that because, yeah, he's just down two pieces, so trading pieces is definitely not something you want to do. Um, he might have been playing hope chess, hoping that I would take with the queen and then lose my bishop here. Uh, so yeah, something you have to, if you are down uh, a lot of material, you have to try to get uh, tricky. So um, yeah, just move my queen up, attacking the pawn and getting out of the pin. So just to show you, had I done something else, that would this would have been uh, a problem. Engine says it's still all right because I'm up two pieces, but still uh, you don't want to have to deal with this. So just move my queen, move my rook over to the open file. Could have started attacking his queen, but I felt like this was uh, also a tempo move with his queen there. Yeah, here I played a little bit too slowly. I was just trying to make everything extra safe. I knew I was up a lot of material, so I could afford these slow moves. Uh, after that, I did play this one. And after this and this, I doubled up. Yeah, and this is just really passive. Even though it's the best move according to the engine, I think in wise position you can't really play that defensive. You you have to create counterplay, and this is not the way to do it. Uh, this just makes it easier for me, so I was happy to see this. Kicked out the rook. And here I went for some tactics with which the engine isn't gonna like, but actually uh, I think it made the conversion easier. I took here. Uh, engine is actually saying it's an excellent move. Uh, the idea being, it, it comes with check, so he has to do something. Uh, if he moves his king, yeah, okay, then I've just won a pawn. Um, engine even announces checkmate in that position. Um, but if he takes my rook, which he did in the game, I saw I had this fork here. And I'm not going to win a full rook back, so this is an exchange sacrifice. Um, but I've won two pawns for the exchange as well. And it was already up material, so this is definitely something... Uh, that just made the game easier for me. So after this, uh, even three pawns, by the way. So one, two, and three. So I want three pawns for the exchange, which actually material-wise is uh, is good for me. Um, yeah, and now, now I'm just up, uh, let's see, four points of material. And he just have to, has two pieces left, so it's uh, not looking good for him. And yeah, yeah the en engine announces made a nine. I, yeah, my intuition said there would be some kind of mate here. I didn't find it. So this wasn't the right idea. Yeah, rook takes b3. I didn't really like going in with my rook. I thought I might be giving him some checks, although that would be just one check. So uh, and later in the game, I saw that. Yeah, I thought, okay, I can win a pawn with check, win another pawn with check. And here I thought I could simplify. I didn't even look for ways to checkmate. Uh, they probably were there, but I had a minute on the clock, so I saw the simple way to simplify. Uh, easy. Um, uh, the idea being I'm sacrificing a rook, but winning back his rook. Also, if he takes with the king, same thing. Um, and here I saw that I wasn't worried. Uh, let's say he took with the king about perpetual check, because after this, he doesn't have any checks anymore. That square, square is covered by the king. Uh, by the queen. So I just went for this. He did go for that check. Like I said, it's covered. He did win a pawn here, but I wasn't too worried. I just tried to um, trade queens. He didn't want to. I won the other pawn. And now I'm three pawns and a bishop up. And I didn't think I convert, converted this all too well. Um, yeah, I just... Uh, oh, by the way... Um, 
quick little thing. I was thinking a little bit of taking this pawn because I saw he had some checks here. Um, and yeah, if he went for something like this, uh, that could have been a perpetual, but I saw that after this, I could block with my bishop. Now my king is extremely safe. He doesn't have any checks anymore. I just have three pawns and a queen to play with. I uh, can also bring in my bishop when I need to. And I was still trying to find ways to trade queens because that would just be easiest. Now I saw I could bring my bishop in again. And in this position I saw I had the first queen trade. Because after this he can block with the queen but then he just loses a full queen. And no matter where his king goes he had two squares. I have this check and that just trades the queens. And I'm going to fast forward. Um, I think this conversion could have been better but I yeah. I just basically every move um, only one thing was on my mind which is don't stalemate him <laughs> um, so I was very careful with that and yeah I, it's just easy to uh, to make another queen and to checkmate and I think from here on on it says made in five and I think that's also what I did it's not the way the engine says but yeah so the engine even uh, okay that would have been a nice conversion, so the engine would have uh, wanted to go for this. Uh, because after that, this is checkmate, I think. Yes. Um, so that would have been nice. I didn't see that, uh, but I saw after this. Uh, if he moved here, I could just queen or make a rook even. Doesn't really matter. Um, he tried to prevent that, but that was checkmate. So, yeah, I kind of liked the way I played, uh, but the opening, uh, I definitely made some, uh, some mistakes. Uh, so I learned something from that, but I'm happy with this win and uh, yeah, see if I can uh, play even better next time. So for now, thank you for watching and I see you then. Bye bye.